61A, lecture number 19, announcements. Lab 7, due Tuesday. Homework 4, due Thursday. And we're releasing a new project. The ANTS project is due next Friday, but you need to get started by next Tuesday to earn the checkpoint, and you can earn an early submission bonus point for submitting the whole thing by next Thursday. There's also an extra credit problem on the project, so it's possible to earn even more extra credit there. This version of Project 3 is shorter than usual. This semester is more stressful than usual. It's harder to get help, there's a lot going on in the world, and it's harder to work with your peers. Now this project started out at a reasonable size, and then every semester it seems to have grown a little bit as people think of more questions to ask. And what we've done is really just trim it back closer to its original size. It's still quite a large program that you have to write, larger than any project you've done before. Now, it might be more manageable because your experience has grown throughout the semester, but still I encourage you to leave plenty of time for this large project so that you can make sure you get it done by next Friday, or better yet, by next Thursday, and get that bonus point. And what's the project about? Well, it's about ants. In particular, it's a re-implementation of a game I like called Plants vs. Zombies. The version we build in 61A is called Ants vs. Some Bees. And your job is to build all the logic about how the different characters in the game interact, which is a natural application of object-oriented programming and inheritance. I'll let you implement the game yourself, and then you can play it. This Thursday, we're going to have an advising panel. We've been running some one-on-one -on -one advising office hours, but the same questions sometimes come up again and again, so we thought we'd have a larger forum where many people could attend at once. You could ask questions about anything you want, industry, clubs, research, fifth-year master's program, classes, whatever. And we'll have some members of the course staff on hand to answer your questions. So this is just informal peer advising, but gives you a chance to understand what's available at Berkeley and how to get involved. We'll still hold one-on-one -on -one advising office hours. They're now going to be drop-in on Fridays from 1 to 2.30 on the office hours queue. We've just posted an anonymous survey. It's really short. It's not required, but it would be really nice if you filled it out. Here's the whole thing. And all these questions at the bottom are optional. So if you want to give us an indication about how you're feeling about the course, whether you're behind in lecture or caught up, how you're feeling about assignments and the hint videos, as well as giving us some suggestions about how to improve the course, I would appreciate it. We'll try to implement these suggestions as soon as we can. So please complete that survey by Monday. And finally, midterm two is coming up. It's two weeks from Wednesday, so next week you can focus on ANTS. The midterm will be the following week. It will have a similar format and style to midterm one. Although if there were things that you didn't like about midterm one, you can tell us about that on this anonymous survey, and we might be able to adjust them before midterm two is written. This exam will cover content through this week, but next week there will not be new content and the week after, when you actually take the test, there won't be new content either. My sense is that some people are a little bit behind in lecture, and so I want to give you a chance not just to hear about these topics, but solve a homework problem on them, or hear about them in lab or discussion or tutorial, so that you can really be prepared to do well on the exam. So if you look at the upcoming schedule, there's the midterm, here's where we are, these three topics will be on the midterm. This topic is going to be completely optional this semester. It won't be included in any homeworks or labs or discussions or exams. I think it's interesting. You'll hear a lot about it in 61B. So we're just delaying it until then. These two lectures are really about review of everything you've learned about objects and values. So I do recommend that you watch those when they come out because they'll help prepare you for the exam. And this lecture is optional. It's always been optional, but it's often students' favorite part of the course. So I would definitely recommend watching that lecture 
but you don't need to learn anything from it that will be applied to the midterm on Wednesday. So that's what's coming up. Today's lecture about inheritance is about a topic that could be overused. So you do need to know about it, but I wouldn't recommend using it everywhere that you possibly could, but it can be an awfully useful technique when it is applied appropriately. Here we go.